night, and I'm afraid that it's too late. I can hardly see where I'm going. Lupin! Yes, sir. Is it over here? Yes, sir. It's very silly of late to be as black as this. <laughs> Quite wrong, I'm certain. But if on the one hand, traffic is being overdone, on the other, it's at least being seen. This isn't so bad after all. Well, I'd like to know, sir, from you who are educated, <laughs> why it isn't light at night. That question is a foolish and a difficult one. You have an entire night, Lupin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I studied that, I would have thought of things no one ever thought of. And I well believe it. You look like you have a fine and incisive intellect. That's the case. <laughs> I can translate Latin even though I never learned it. Oh. Oh. Seeing the word collegium on a, on a great door one day, I, I guessed it meant college. Oh, amazing. You can read? Yes, I can read printed characters. <laughs> Just never managed handwriting. <laughs> Yeah. Right up against the H O U S. House, house, house. Now just wait for the signal to cause the engagement. Oh, God, my soul. There goes a girl worth all the money in the world. Oh, I love her with all my heart. Yeah, yeah, that's why I brought you here to talk to her. Oh, I mean, turn it ah! on. You're too loud. Yes, Queen Theodora saw us. I've done it. Uh, it's them. Jealous of his wife. I want her exclusively, exclusively for himself. It's gone too far. Monsieur Cotton just let him off the hook. <laughs> Claudine? Claudine, you haven't said anything. <laughs> Let's take their example. Give me your little fist a kiss. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, how sweet it is. I think I'm eating jam. Oh! That's a rough little fist and no mistake. Who goes there? Sent for her parents without delay, and uses 
escapade as a means of bringing about our separation. Hey, Colin! Down here, quickly. Quickly, quickly! to my parents-in-law's house and tell them to come here at once. You understand? Colin, where are you? Sir? Where the hell are you? Here. Plague on the fool, he's gone off again. I order you to go at once to my parents-in-law and tell them that I summoned them to come here at once. Have you got it? Yeah. Colin? <laughs> Colin! <laughs> Over here, sir. You're coming mad, the villain. Where are you? Come here. Oh. oh, the clumsy idiot has crippled me. Come here. I'm going to thrust the daylight out of you. Now he's running away, I think. Quite right. Will you come here? Oh, not on your life. Come here, I tell you. Certainly not. You are going to beat me. No, I won't. I'll not do anything to you. Really? Yes. Come over here. What? You're lucky that I need you. Go quickly, ask my parents-in-law, from me, to come here as soon as they can. Tell them it's a matter of the greatest urgency. If they make a fuss about the time, be sure to hurry them up and make it clear to them that it's very important that you come in whatever state of dress they are. Yes, sir. Go quickly now. And come back as fast. Excuse me, I'll go back into the house and wait for you. I can hear someone coming. Isn't that my wife? I was listening to what it said under the cover of this darkness. One knows how to give them no more than they fear do. 